Hey, I'm Jay. That's my pug, Rico. You're going to hear a lot about him. I work at MongoDB. Um, I was a system administrator for something like 10 years straight. I was on call. I've been in tech maybe about almost 20 now. I really am starting to feel old. So I worked at, on call for a while, and I really started to deal with burnout. And by burnout, I meant being on call for 10 years is really screwed up because you don't know when you're going to stop looking at your phone. You don't know when you're going to stop doing things. So I started thinking about a new job because I wanted to get some sleep for the sake of myself and for my wife. And not only that, but I really wanted a kind of a better place to spend my time around people. And career change is terrible. It, it's scary. And, and so I started thinking about new directions. So I thought about the company I worked at. And I was working in another role on the cloud team. And I said, well, what do I want to do? Do I want a new job and go to a new company? Or, or do I need a new role? And was there a role at Mongo for me? And there was. So what about sales? Um, I'm sorry, people who are in sales, but I don't want to do your job, ever. I don't want to be tied to dollars and cents. It's not interesting to me. I worked with technology most of my career and, and not selling things. So what about support? I got my start in support maybe in about 2002, and I did it for a really long time. And it actually is what led me to kind of start thinking about how to branch out to people better, how to communicate and talk with them. So I started really thinking about what's the next step? How do I really find a career that's going to give me my ability to work with people, technology, and not only that, but just make me feel good about the work I'm doing, make me feel like I'm making a difference for people. So I started watching and listening, and I started seeing these really incredible people that were working in the community. And what they were doing was telling people better ideas about technology. And it wasn't just to sell stuff to you. It was about telling you how to work better. So one of the coolest things I learned about working in developer advocacy when I said, hey, can I have that job? And my company said, yeah, is that I got to work with peers, something I just dig a lot. Um, I got to create content with them and have them con create content for me. And I got to break stuff. And that's one of the coolest things. It's like, imagine someone just tells you, look, figure out how to use technology and break some shit along the way. And if you find better ways to do it, write a blog about it. Tell people. So I started using all these skill sets that I already had, you know, using software that I knew and platforms in the cloud. And it was able to kind of start having conversations that made people think like, hey, maybe this guy knows what he's talking about. And more beyond that, but maybe the technology he's advocating for will work for me. And the, so beyond just using the old skills I had, I started having to use new skills. I had to start doing community building. I had to start finding ways to get people to write content on my behalf. So it meant creating networks, talking to people, and it was huge. So now we're at DevOps days, it's time for an analogy. So who watches Rick and Morty? It's fun, cool. Um, it, it started out as just a cartoon that was on at night for just a small period of time on a channel that's only available for half a day. And it created this huge fandom. People really got into it quickly. And the, the level of interest that they had really got crazy to the point where, you know, they created advocacy for a cartoon. And that went IRL. So based on this, McDonald's saw that there was an opportunity to use a portion of a cartoon plot that had to do with Szechuan sauce that was made for a movie called Mulan that they sold for a little while. And fans wanted it. They wanted to be part of this experience. They wanted to advocate on behalf of Rick and Morty, so they left their homes. They went and, and they begged for it, and they ran out. They, they drove an hour, and some of them got it, some of them didn't. But the point of it was is that it created this groundswell of interest that made people want to be part of something. And that really made me start to consider how it reminded me a lot about what we do here in technology. We create groundswell of interest based on things like fandom. Like I met people years ago who thought a little bit about MongoDB and only had a, a cursory interest. But it wasn't until I actually explained more of it based on my own use that I actually got to create some sort of sauce is what I looked at it as. So maybe that's what drives people. And that silly web scale bear, please Whatever, it's a joke, we all know it, let, let me live with it. Uh, but we get to kind of create our own information as developer advocacy to go ahead and bring people to eventually stick around. And by the way, McDonald's saw that people were advocating on behalf of this show and this sauce so much that they ordered another 30 million packets. And it's something that became 
part of their offering. So anyway, eat some McDonald's chicken nuggets, I guess, or just enjoy your time here at DevOps Days. Developer advocacy is rad. Give it a shot.